always the bad guy. Yeah, you is. I'm always the bad guy. The people this message should reach are my fellow low lowlifes, scum of the earth, aka cowards to say the least. You know, us individuals with nothing to lose and nothing to gain. But most of us can't read, so I guess I'm preaching to the choir. Frosted Flakes was my breakfast of choice, but I had no milk. Shit, I hate it when that happens. I turned on the television and it showed visions of everything I always wanted, trying to make me believe that it could be achieved through hard work alone. You see, my father is deceased. He might as well be in prison for life. It all serves a greater purpose, just not in my favor. Since he left, my little brother's been wet in the bed, and my older sister is too promiscuous to say the least. At least she gets paid for it. However, sleeping with two men in the same night is obviously not enough. Hell, I can't even eat a bowl of cereal with milk. After my breakfast, I got dressed. For a split second, I entertained looking for a job, but nepotism has got me at my wit's end. I guess it's true when they say, it's not what you know, but who you know. Besides, I'm not in a shucking and jiving type of mood. I put on my black jeans from the day before, my black hustle gear hoodie, and an old pair of nights. I went outside to bum a cigarette. Feckless was my state of mind. It's not my fault for the mindset. I can't help the feeling. You see, my father wasn't shit, and chances are, I won't be either. The sun just seemed to shine on everyone besides me. Life, a four-letter word that I lost all respect for when my father walked out on us. And when the judicial system gave my older brother 25 years in prison for selling drugs. And you expect me to appreciate it, even though they don't? I watched you throw away food while me and my siblings went to bed hungry. I watched you flaunt your money on Facebook and Instagram while we got evicted for non-payment of rent. I watched you purchase two and three cars while we walked everywhere we needed to be. I even listened to you brag about popping tags and not wearing an outfit more than once, while I wear the same outfit for days at a time. For these reasons alone, I am heartless. I walk past parked cars and look at my reflection in the window, forced to answer to my wrongdoings. I put my hoodie on and cover up my face, hopefully granting me some reprieve until my next killing. After all, the look on my face is one that only a mother could love, and she don't even love it. Besides, never has she motivated or challenged me to do anything. I'll put it to you like this. The only thing that I look forward to doing is making people wild, miserable, just like me. Then I sit back and watch everyone live in fear. Now that's funny because just what I thought no one could care less about me, the minute I murder someone, social media goes crazy trying to find out who I am and why I did it. Your attention and fear is my motivation. You see, deep down, I want you to know I did it. But ignore your voice notes, they'll accuse, and find a ham sandwich guilty to get a conviction. Don't believe me? Just ask some of the innocent guys who are doing time for a murder that they didn't commit. One sure way you could tell that they didn't do it is because they could sleep at night. Every time I close my eyes, I see my victim's faces. This pains me so much that I have to stay high or intoxicated to say the least. I hate it. I hate you. I hate me. Don't let me catch you living in fear, otherwise you'll be my next victim. Because it's not only that you are what you need, but you are also what you think. Remember, your fear is my motivation. Truly yours. Wanna be tough, God. When you show the wrong niggas love, we gon' end up with bad vibes. I'm always the bad guy. Yeah, you is. I'm always the bad guy. Yeah, you is. When you show the wrong niggas love, you gon' end up with bad vibes.